Hello everybody and welcome to NAP TV. I am your host Mike Martin. A uh, special treat for you today. I am here with my friend Dave Christopher who is the Transportation Director for the Shenandoah Central Schools in uh, Clifton Park, New York. Um, and Shenandoah, I believe, was the first public school system in America to have uh, a hybrid electric powered school bus uh, from IC Corporation. This looks like a normal school bus. It's big yellow, has wheels, but I got to tell you what, this is anything but a normal school bus. This bus is a hybrid electric bus. This bus plugs in before it goes out on the road every day. As an Earth Day special, we're going to spend some time today talking with the transportation director that runs this bus on a daily basis and let you hear a little bit about his perspective about hybrid electric power on Earth Day. Watch. Dave, thank you very much for joining me today. Thank you for inviting me. Appreciate it. Um, tell us a little bit about your district. Well, first we're, of all. Uh, we're a large suburban school district, uh, a suburb of uh, Albany, New York, the capital of New York State. And uh, we're about 10,000 students. We run about 200 buses. Uh, we do about two and a half million miles a year. And uh, uh, we're happy to have this bus in our bus fleet to awesome. try out. See how it works. How many how many uh, vehicles do you have in total in your fleet? We have 200 buses in our fleet. 155 big buses like okay. uh, like these. This one behind us. All right, great. And uh, tell me about the uh, the hybrid electric bus. When did you first uh, start using that? We we started working with a uh, uh, international and, and Leonard bus service uh, about three years ago to get a hybrid bus in our, our bus fleet. Okay. And we were successful in getting a uh, charge uh, sustaining bus, which basically. Uh, the idea is that when you brake, you, you regenerate the right. batteries. And we, uh, mm -hmm. we ran that bus for about a year. And uh, uh, Anova, which is the company that built the, uh, the hybrid piece, uh, took it back and uh, did some analysis on it. And they brought in this charge sustaining bus, which oh, okay. basically is a bus that you, you plug in every night. And it, it regenerates the batteries uh, from the electric power grid. And we've been running this for about a year and a half. Oh, neat. Okay, so so this is not the original. This That's is right, sort yeah. of the, the next evolution yes, yes. of this technology. How cool is that? All right, yeah. excellent. Um, let's talk about the first bus you had for a while. Um, mm -hmm. How did that work? Did, it, did, did people notice a difference uh, performance-wise, maintenance-wise, ride-wise? Yeah, the, the, the bus basically, both of them, basically, you do not know the difference between a normal diesel bus and one of these hybrid electric buses. Okay. Uh, the power is about the same or better. Uh, the drivability is the same, the bus drivers get in them, and if you took the hybrid stuff, uh, lettering off the side, you'd never know there's a hybrid bus. How's this for Earth Day? Shen's bus is the same as any other bus in their fleet on both the inside and on the outside, except that this one offers up to a 90% reduction in certain emissions and up to a five-year battery life. Obviously, the, the fuel savings is what we're interested in, and the sure. first hybrid that we had in here didn't realize significant fuel savings. There was an improvement. All right. uh, this charge sustaining system, uh, we estimate, is somewhere around 35 to 40 percent improvement. Wow, fuel that's, that's a big difference. So okay. it's, a, it's a big difference. Wow. How about that? Now, the first, is, is there a significant weight difference between the bus and weight, between these and, and the normal bus? Well, uh, there's no reduction in the bus. That's the fear that if you load this up with hybrid equipment that right. your capacity would lessen, but we didn't see that here. Not at all. Okay, terrific. How cool is that? Now, um, now, and they took the first bus back to sort of break it down and right. analyze it. Now you've, got, you've had this a little over a year, you said? Yes. yes. Okay. Um, uh, tell me about this one, for example, like maintenance-wise. Any, any issues there at all or anything uh, you have to do to it more regularly than you might have to do to a, a normal bus? All of the, the hybrid side of the vehicle is maintained by Leonard Bus. Okay. Uh, they're located close to us, so it's very, it's, it's handy for us to just have them come in. Plus, they have the expertise to do it. Okay. In terms of the other maintenance, it's just like any other school bus. Gotcha. You can change the oil, check the brakes, do the regular preventive maintenance. And yeah. We see no increase in terms of maintenance costs on this on this vehicle compared to our regular diesel buses. How about that? Okay. And how about the, how about the feedback you get from the drivers? Do they... Uh do they seem to like the, is there a competition to want yeah. to drive this bus? Actually, we've had two or three drivers assigned to this bus on a long-term okay. basis, and they, 
they do like it. Some of the drivers that no longer drive it would like it back. It kind of kind of uh, bumped them out. Yeah, yeah, it's a, <laughs> it's a fun bus to drive. I mean, it's got a lot of get up and go. It's new. It's uh, sure. so so yeah. They they Excellent. enjoy driving it. Yeah, very cool. Um, another question for you in terms of the how has it been received, for example, from a PR standpoint by the community. Mm -hmm. uh, People, people uh, giving you big pats on yeah. the back for... We, we've got a lot of good press on this bus. A lot of uh, folks have come here as far away as Vermont, Massachusetts to look at it. Really? Okay. Uh, our local community has been very receptive to the fact that we're looking at different ways to save money and, and to uh, be more green, if it will. Sure. If you will. Uh, so uh, it's been a very positive experience. Uh, yeah. I really uh, I can't say enough about Leonard Bus who worked with us to make this happen, mm -hmm. and uh, and and the bus itself. I mean, when when you first think about a a, a new kind of technology, you really worry about yeah. all the problems that you may encounter, and we just haven't seen that with this bus. It's been it's been pretty seamless. Neat. Now, all right, let me ask you this: Are there other things that you're doing within the school district and or the transportation department that sort of focus on you know that that the green alternative, trying Absolutely. to find more ways yeah. to Tell us about we, those. We, we've been a leader in, uh, in uh, alternate fuels <clears throat> back in the 80s and 90s. Uh, my predecessor uh, ran uh, natural gas buses. Mm -hmm. uh, we ran about 24 natural gas buses back in the 80s and the 90s. Uh, we were a recipient of a large grant to put diesel oxidation catalysts on many of our diesel buses that you see out there in the parking lot. How many ballpark uh, that? How many of those have you done? Uh, 55. 55. 55 of those, okay. All of our right. eligible diesel buses at the time we converted them. Great, okay. In the hybrid bus here, of course, uh, you know, we're very conscientious in our in our school community yeah. to, uh, you know, go green and do whatever we can. Sure. We're just run a recycle we just won a recycling award oh, for being a large recycler so uh, right. we really focus on you know trying to do uh, environmentally correct things yeah great congratulations and if and correct me if I'm wrong if I'm if, if I'm remembering correctly you guys also serve as a kind of a maintenance hub for other municipalities around this area we, or we, other school districts yes we, we used to do that we don't do it so so much anymore okay. uh, we do provide a, a Fueling station for uh, okay. you know our, our uh, local fire department and, and for those folks as well. Okay, uh, but uh, we don't do so much regional maintenance anymore. Okay, what of those station. folks, for example, like the fire department, some others? Do, do they uh, do they like coming over and poking around and looking at some of the stuff you're doing? Yeah, yeah. Well, they you know they're here often. They they work with us on. Uh, they actually just delivered a, a training course for us. And, okay, uh, you know, and they're here regularly to fuel and watch what we do absolutely neat all right so uh, so um, let me ask you this for Earth Day itself are you guys planning to do anything special or, or, or different for for Earth Day in the Shenandoah School District or uh, uh, not necessarily anything special I suppose you know we'll we'll continue to do the things we're doing in terms of you know recycling and looking for you know green alternatives and just try to do the right thing for the environment uh, we'll continue down that path I was yeah. kind of hoping he was going to say he was going to get all 200 drivers to watch NAP TV on Earth Day and see he and I talking about this hybrid bus, but that's okay. I can and we will have a, uh, a joint meeting of all bus drivers to watch NAPTV. <laughs> there you go. Awesome. Uh, cool. Anything else uh, you want to you wanna add uh, uh, to the folks uh, you know, uh, who are watching today to encourage them to, to take a look at this? Uh, yeah, I, this? I think I would encourage uh, any operator to look at you know, alternatives. Uh, you know, what we've always done in the past, we probably aren't going to be doing in the future in 10 or 15 years. And it takes people to uh, step out of their comfort zone, to yeah. try these new technologies, and, uh, you know, shake out the bugs, you know, uh, work with the vendors to find ways to, uh, to improve the technologies because we can't continue down the same path we're on now yeah. because, you know, times change. And this, is, this is a good alternative. Uh, along with many others. No question about it. Awesome. Thank you. That's uh, that. You couldn't have said that better myself. That's that's the message about today's episode, folks. Um, Earth Day isn't just one day every year when we. Well, it is. It's, it isn't just one day when we encourage everybody to be environmentally conscious. But it's really about finding ways to be more environmentally conscious year-round and emphasizing that. I guess on that one particular day. So uh, on today's Earth Day, yourselves think about things that you can be doing in your local, in your own areas and your own operations um, maybe not something quite as dramatic as this there's what eight there's not a lot of these uh, out there on the road are there I think there's just a dozen or so yeah, yeah. about a, about a, there's not a lot of these for sure so you know if you want to be bold and take that step be my guest Dave I'm sure would be glad to offer you some advice or direction uh, but by the same token you've heard Dave mention there's a lot of other things that you can be doing on Earth Day to, to make sure the transportation stays with the times uh, and make sure you know the green is the, uh, is the yellow is the new green, right? That's right. All right.
All right, cool beans. Uh, well, um, listen, we, uh, we appreciate your time today. Thank you very much. You. One of the uh, traditional things that we do to close the show is we, uh, we take a shot. Would you be willing to sure. take a shot for Absolutely. us today? All right, Josh? He's got it. All right, sir. And oh, one more thing. Oh, hold on. <laughs> going to take two today, take I two. guess. Give me another one, Josh. <laughs> um, one thing I wanted to show you, too. See, we've, uh, it, you know, we always let people give us a call in. Uh, we're going to do you got anybody you want to do a shout out to today, Dave? Anybody in particular? A, sh a shout out to the uh, New York Asso Association of Pupil Transportation Executive Committee crew. We worked very hard. All right, there you go. Uh, Perfect. Uh, make there New you York go. Association great. All right, and those folks are? Our, uh, Jim Minahan. Jim Minahan. Uh, President John McCormick. John McCormick. Uh, Gail Winsper. Gail Winsper. And Rich Gallagher. And Rich Gallagher. And Whitney Colvin. And, and, and Whitney Colvin. All right, any of you five folks, give us a call at NAPT headquarters. We will send you something to say thank you for watching NAP TV. Thank you for being fans of our show. Thank you for being supporters of our association and especially your New York association. Uh, remember, yellow is the green way to school. We'll probably even, if you want, we could send you one of these nifty, uh, you know, these nifty tote bags uh, so you could, uh, you could go out and, you know, shop the green way too, as well as, you know, drive the green way. Uh, anyway, let's try this. Uh, let's try this shot one more time. Um, David, uh, thank you for joining me today. Keep watching NAP TV where we will bring you information with imagination. It's something you can bank on. Thanks for watching. Thank you.